Do you like Firebase Z? I remember Cold War releasing in November and the zombies mode exploding with popularity. You had longtime fans, new fans, and even some big streamers trying out Cold War's new map, D Machina. The new crafting systems, the skill trees, the weapon tiers, and kill streaks were exciting, they were fresh for this new zombies mode. With the exception of a lackluster Onslaught 1.0 mode that was just on PlayStation, this is all we had for three months. I recall friends and myself basically pleading for something, anything, in the coming Season 1 update that would give us something else to chew on. During Season 1, we did get the promise of two new LTMs, Jingle Hells and Cranked, but those ended up just being small, tiny variations on the basic zombie gameplay, which just followed us back into D-Machina anyway. Things were looking pretty dire until the surprise announcement that Treyarch was ahead of schedule and were actually going to be able to release the next round base map towards the end of Season 1. All the teaser images and the poster leading up to the full map reveal was incredible. Firebase Z was released, and after another quick easter egg hunt, seeing two full in-game cutscenes that even included our operators in the amazing return of Samantha Maxis, it felt like Firebase Z was kicking off to be a huge hit. I personally was enjoying the map solo and with my friends, and this was how I had always looked at the map, as a beacon of hope post Steam Machina, in a fun BO1-esque Vietnam map. Almost right after, though, we got the news of a new zombie mode on the way, Outbreak. This new mode was a huge deal. Open world zombies, changing maps during the match, drivable vehicles, it all sounded great. And it was. Despite what some loud people online might tell you, Outbreak was a huge success, even Treyarch themselves stating that the mode had just as many players on it as round based. I can personally attest to two of my friends who could never get into zombies loving Outbreak and finally giving it a shot. The only issue was this dropped so soon after Firebase Z, pretty much overshadowing the map. All the online discourse was changing to just Outbreak. Now, flashing forward to present day, whenever I see Firebase Z brought up, I was surprised to see how divisive it is. I would hear a lot of lukewarm or outright distaste for the map, which confused me as I remember it being this sort of savior of a map coming down to save Cold War player base from the machine of purgatory. You'll find Firebase Z at the bottom of many Cold War map rankings or towards the low middle end of some more overall map rankings. Personally, I just don't see it. Firebase Z to me was always a step up from D Machina. I enjoyed the map layout more, having it not relying on a previous zombie map as a set piece. The Wonder Weapon, while not the best, was really cool visually and at least fun to use. I love the moon style spawn, of course, and fan favorite characters like Ravenov and Dr. Beck. The only major issue I'd say I have with the map is the lack of jungle. I wish it was more jungle, less facility. Another core feature of the map I really enjoyed was Assault Waves. And even having the new Orta enemy show up and attack was so refreshing to me over just another dog round variant. However, I am someone who plays maps for 20 to 50 rounds at a time, not really a high rounder. And when talking to people who are, they don't really like assault waves, feeling they break up the pace of the rounds. Learning this take and this feature, I can't help but wonder what other stances people have on this map that might bring it down for them. Some recurring points I usually hear are Assault Wave high rounds, the one weapon being too weak, the Orta boss fight and the Easter egg, and especially the Mimic step. What about you? What are the things that bring this map down for you personally? Or do you really enjoy this map like I do?